Welcome back to SOS and Stuff Sound Badass. Huey Lewis in the news. This is it. Please let me know. All right. I got some stuff I need to show you today. I think I got a kid trying to spy on me right now. All right, come in. Come on, Charlie. All right. The boy's going to spy on me. He's probably going to get over here and play with stuff. I don't care. He's bored. All right, so... I uh, finished Dave Cadbury's knife sheath and I've got a uh, Hallmark card I want to talk about and uh, it's just some basic tool stuff real quick and some projects I've been working on. I've been busy all day. I was going to film it but the video would have been nine hours long making a knife sheath and I, I don't want to show you that today so it's, let's just... Let's just keep it simple today, and let's just show you what I've created, and I hope you enjoy this. All right, yeah, I've been working all day long. <sighs> yeah, look at that. Brace yourself. It's a cat. I love kittens. Kittens are great. Mm -hmm. You like kittens too? Yeah? You like cats? Are you playing with my reloader? All right, I don't care. And bam, hug incoming. Take a look at that. There you go. Love your channel. Maybe someday we can we can hang out and have a barbecue. You're awesome, Dave Cadbury. I told you. I I don't make this stuff up, and it's Hallmark. Eat your heart out. That's right. Remember Dual Survival? Huh? Dual Survival. That's that's where it's at, man. Cool survival, man. I, st I could still watch reruns of that all day long. Him and remember Cody Lindine, they like freaking would sass one another the whole way. It's hilarious. It's hilarious. Anyways, this is the sheet that I just put together, and uh, I, I kind of want to get into it do's and don'ts. Uh, I've got dye all over my hands from dyeing leather and all this stuff, and I've been tooling uh, for a while. Uh, I don't like this fashion here for the Scout Carry. This is Scout Carry. It, uh, it's so you can wear it across your back. This folds in just like that and goes behind this piece here. And you can wear it on your back and reach behind your back. Grab your knife and go to it. Whatever you want to do. This is the pace counter that goes with this. Don't play with that. You're going to mess around and break some stuff. All right. Uh... <laughs> I'm not talking to you. All right, so uh, I see what you're doing over there. All right, this is the fat wood handle on the ferrule rod that's five inches, and this is a half inch ferrule rod. And I do soft leather for stuff like this and flaps here and here. Now, I would have done soft leather on this, but I don't want it stretching at weather conditions. All right, you who, you stop doing that. It's not a guitar. That's not a guitar. That's a reloader. Give me that look. All right. So this I figured would be a little bit different than your average. See how that works there? It wasn't too much trouble to do that. But I, I want to give you more ideas. What I do here is I put knife stops in here. Most of my videos are quite the same when it comes to the basic part of this part. And I did do something a little bit different on this one. I used a tool that, here, I'll just go ahead and cover the knife real quick and I'll cover tools. All right, this is the knife. You won't see, you won't see one like that. Okay, you truck it into the living room, kid. You're starting to get crazy over here. Go, go, go. Go. Go watch your, your crazy, uh, uh, PJ Maxx or whatever it is you want to go watch. It's from Dog. We'll go turn it on. You know how to turn it on. Go to it. All right. Look at that flashiness. I'll be in there in just a second. There's that setup. There's your pace counter. And these just kind of, the way these work, they just snap like that. Go through the hole. And uh, most of this is all riveted. And then behind here it's stitched and stitched around here and like that. Pretty pretty basic, but it's it's stack up. You know what I mean? You gotta stack this stuff together. 
size it up how you want it. I still have two holes. I've got to drill here and uh, put the thigh uh, thigh rig tie up right here so you can tie it to your thigh because this it works like a drop holster you know and it moves like this with your body so when you're bending over and stuff like that that's what that's for and that's why I put the ring there and I've got a whole stack of rings here I had to wait for the rings to come in so I could work on this I've got smaller ones and they weren't gonna work uh, I ran out of snaps these snaps I've got a ton of these which are for like clothes or something I, I don't know but um, those won't work for leather craft so I just kind of kicked those to the side but uh there, there's the sheath. I don't know what artwork to do yet. No idea. I'm going to get some suggestions. And I've got this project over here that I just finished. Um, would be easier. And to do this video would have took me hours. Which it did take me hours to make this. It took me weeks to finish it. So basically this is a uh, spotter scope for like a sniper type ordeal you ever seen the spotter scopes you got the spotter then you got the sniper well this is to a spotter scope that's what this is for and uh, I actually tooled this leather into a tree with uh, uh, with the leaves and everything I actually this is from my brain I uh, uh, I thought of hey let's uh, do a tree and so I started tooling out a tree and then I put the leaves and everything on it and I'll get into some of that stuff for tooling tooling is stuff like this there's your tooling tips I got a whole stack of tips different different styles for this they just snap on and snap off uh, to change out but that's for the leaves and everything stitch this all the way around uh, the braid for this I did a cross stitch I had to measure each one of these and uh, the design that was originally sent to me was a little off and so I had to remeasure every one of these and I wanted to show people that uh, uh, that watch the channel I want to show you guys uh, this because I uh, there was no way in heck I could have been able to uh, put this on video it would have took hours it would have been hours and hours of video so uh, to do this get all the measurements down and get it right but I stitched braided all this together it runs up through here up through here up through here <laughs> uh, around here and it makes the cap and there's your cap and <laughs> this was a lot of pain in the butt work but it was fun this was actually a fun project and I did it off camera uh, but there's the tree of life again and this is measured out to a certain way so it only goes on one way like that see what I mean it has a stop to it and uh, there's your strap and this can go over your shoulder if you need it to and there you go I figured the skulls would be a nice little touch to that I but that's the best I'm gonna do with the artwork on that guy and what else do I have uh, if you haven't had a chance pick up a Tandy leather I just want to share some stuff with you guys today because I, I was so busy working that I didn't have time to finish this um, to do a video of leather work it would have took hours to do that but uh, I will do this to make up for it uh, get a Tandy leather book, okay, the catalog, and if you look through here, you've got all your tools. There's the leather the leather that you see on the show. Uh, it's an oak leaf, okay, and you can get bellies, shoulders, it doesn't matter as long as you're going with oak leaf. Oak leaf is very impressionable. This stuff here, you just barely, um, you barely, if you get it slightly damp and you put a little bit of pressure on it, it starts to take shape and and take designs and patterns. That's how I get markings into the letter. Uh, also, I use a soldering kit, like you've got this one here. This is True Art, and this is for wood, and you've got billions of different tips. It's a soldering iron with different settings. You change out the tip, and you can even cut with it. It has a razor blade. You can apply heat. This is great if you're stippling uh, firearms or whatever it is you're doing. You get the point and you kind of know why i have it right there you go so but i've got a different one over here i've had for a very long time and uh this is the other version that i have of it and this was the one that i usually use for stippling and things like that all right for those of you that like that sort of thing now you know how that works and different leather and you wanted to know what leather i use on the show and all uh there's like your lace your threads, different colors. You know, they've got pink and lime green, and it goes on and on. Uh, different things for stitching. I've got one of these, but I don't even use it. So I mean, I've got something like that. Don't use it. You don't even need it. Uh, 
the way I do it, it's kind of the old fashioned way. I punch holes. I even use my drill. You don't even need a drill bit. You just need a spike and that will drive in and out over and over again. And you can, you can stitch all day with that. And I also use this. I change out my tips. Where's my other dude at over here? I know I got another one. Here we go. But I put these guys right here on the end here. And, uh, let me see like that. And, uh, I can make holes. I make holes with this. Big fat holes. So I want a bigger hole. Bigger hole. Just like that. And that's how I do that. I usually do it with a drill. It saves time. So uh, save yourself some money and time. All right. That's that. And don't get these. These are garbage. They break anyways. Don't waste. Don't waste your money. Get something like this. You'll find this at any arts and crafts store. Get this. It comes with multiple sizes. Punch it that way. It's way better. Or use the drill. This thing here breaks like within a few days. Uh, these are great for doing your uh, threads and things like that. Punching all your holes for lacing stuff up. Uh, this, I don't have one of these, but this is for those tips you just saw a while ago uh, on the Scout Curry holster. Uh, the sheath. This is for making gun holsters. This makes that belt loop. You can make belt loops in anything if you've got one of these. But I use uh, the biggest one of, of these guys. And then I go one side, one side. And then I use my razor and I cut straight. But that's how I do that. I don't get too fancy with it. Then you got stuff for corners and all kinds of stuff. You don't need all that. Here's your tooling stuff. If you want to start tooling leather, that's what tooling is. And that's what I was showing you with the tree. That was what I did. I uh, tooled a tree and that's your tree. That's your, that's your tree. That's your tooling uh, stuff. Uh, your thumb goes right in these little, this little groove here. You lay your thumb in there and you kind of move it along and you kind of work it like a tattoo gun. That's about how it works. But, uh, you just apply a little bit of pressure. Um, if you use one of these wheels, I use the wheel to uh, cut straight line, straight leather like this, but I cut it straight. If I just want to cut some out into a square, I use a ruler and then I cut it and I just use the fabric one. You can go pick up the fabric one at Walmart or whatever and do the same thing. That's for your edges. That trims your cuts your edges right there. That's that tool there. And you can pick that up at Walmart too. Uh, the ones that do this, this line here, that's these guys. And they come in different sizes. These are the little ones. But uh, these cut quite similar. Just uh, lay it on there and just, just like that. But that's, uh, don't have a bump in there or it's going to bounce. Uh, but that's, that's how you do your, uh, your stitching. Like for your stitches, if you want to lay it in there better, you just do that number just like that and I figured I'd show you that uh, let's see it's always good to know what the tools do right and uh, these work really good if you're gonna do leaves uh, if you're trying to make like an oak leaf pattern or something these tools here work great for stuff like that for um, oh, once again tooling it's these are tooling tools that I use for drawing stuff out I don't need one of these fancy printers to do this there's printers in here uh, I go to the printer, I use white piece of paper, I find an image I like, and I print out the picture, and I stick it over my leather, and then I trace it out with my tools, and uh, I make my marks that I need to make, and then I finish it up, but that's how I do that. These things here, I think I've got those laying, where did I put those things? I just had those sitting over here. Where'd you go? Oh, well, anyways, I got a whole set of those somewhere around here. There we go. Whole we'll set of these right here. Like a few of these, and not all of them, but I've got quite a few of them um, that change out in that other thing. Uh, but those just snap on. You can get kits from here, all sorts of kits for everything, even gun holsters. But it's work. It's a lot of work. These things here, like this, these doodads, there's so many of them. I've got one sitting over here. This is uh, the Texas Star. Uh, but I've got one just like it. It threads. You've got your thread backing. You punch a hole and you stick it in there and da-da, you've got a... They make a, a whole bunch of these, even flags and stuff and all sorts of stuff. Uh, different types of snaps and doodads and whatever and blah, 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 blah. But 
all these kits require work and I just wanted to share that with you um, there's different tools for so many different things here's another one of those doodads but uh, when I first got started I started off with a dartboard <laughs> punch that was I, this was to a dart for a dartboard and I used that to punch my holes and I used this to punch my holes for my uh, for my rivets and for the longest time I used this and for the longest time I used this all right that's how I got started and now I've moved up to all this weird stuff like I've got uh, uh, stuff for this is this is just for your buttons and snaps and doodads uh, for bending these things let me see if I can find one over here no I had one over here a while ago where'd you go where'd you go Oh, well, it's lost in the sauce now, but uh, I still got to gotta clean all this mess up. It's a mess over here, but uh, most people, you know, you get a kit like this, and it works pretty good. And these are your fatter ones. And then these these are all for uh, applying buttons, snaps, snaps to things. I wish I had a button over here. There we go. But see, this is the small one, and it goes on this one here like that. And that's that's your snap and this is a good example and these are different sizes for that there's my t-rex uh, it doesn't require any heat or anything someone asked me if it required heat it doesn't uh, but these are the ones that your usual button kits come with there's your large there's your small well here's your large and here's your small for, for that kit uh, this is your uh, rivet punch down so basically when you connect your rivets together you need something to be able to set on top and then you hit user hit with the hammer and punch it down and that works pretty good uh, this guy here has a hole through it and it's for if you need to crunch the leather some so if you put a let's just get any of these I don't care this is the long I use long and I use short I use large and small or large and medium that's what rivets I use and I use this style. This is the style I use right here. Anyway, so you put this through here like this. And you need more. You need it to come out of the top a little bit more. You got it backwards. You need it to come out of the top a little bit more. Then you can use that and it'll put this nice circle pattern on it. So it gets it a little bit more countersunk. And it countersinks for you. And then you got your countersink. And then you put your backing on there and it sinks right into it. That's just what the tool's used for. Uh, that's what I use it for. Another cool thing, a lot of people use this uh, because it comes with the kit when they get these snaps, right? Usually when you get snaps, it look like this. Let me see. Ah. There we go. Ah. Snaps look like that, right? Or these are your Walmart snaps, like that. And that's your, that's your Walmart crimper right there it crimps it down but i use these right i don't use walmart stuff right these uh and this is a, something you would find in a kit from like walmart or something like that or any arts and crafts store uh this is what you could get it's this it's a bar it's got all the different sizes it's hollowed out in the middle so that you don't bend the backs of these it fits in that one there perfectly so i mean nice and nice and neat Fits perfect. Won't go anywhere. But uh, you put that guy in there like that. Put your leather on. And then you, of course, put whichever end you're going to put on that end. And uh, there you go. But uh, that's that. That's pretty much, that sums all that up. But uh, there's so much to this stuff. And, and you know, it's it. I've come so far and I kind of want to share some of the stuff that that I do and I get and like with uh with dyeing the leather like you want this color here and to get this color I mix these two colors together I've been doing that for a while but I just take these two colors and I mix them together and I use my applicators like this these are my applicators I use and uh but uh, uh I was getting low on this this is your one step leather dressing this stuff works great if you can find it but um Usually what I do is I just mix these two together. Most people would say no, we don't mix them together uh, They just apply this first and then they apply this over the top of it the sheen the leather sheen Leather sheen on top of your saddle tan. There you go uh, But this is 
to get that color, I mix them both together. And I, that's what I do to make it. Uh, for stitching, I just use needles like that. Uh, for thread, I used to use just the, the swine stuff. Well, I have I've got it over there now. But uh, this is for the stitching that I've been doing lately. Or I use the black or the white or whatever. It's all stacked up up there. There, I'll turn the camera up a little bit. If you can see it. There you go. Anyways, you got your white and then there's your black. And then uh, I keep I keep all the extra trash in here. It's all stacked in here somewhere. Uh, a lot of that stuff's all packed in there and somewhere. So I don't know if any of this will help you or not, but uh, I thought it would be a little bit more useful than watching me struggle making a knife sheath all day. So uh, or for 20 minutes or 30. All right. Uh, but there you go. Uh, I hope this helps a lot. Uh, God bless. I love you guys. And uh, you're watching SOS. I'm Sassar Badass. And uh, have a beautiful, fabulous, fantastic rainbow unicorn, uh, shiny wheat penny kind of day. And uh, you take it easy. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll see you tomorrow, I guess. Oh, I'll, I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow.